so I wanted to show you basically all the products that I use on my face. Um, first, I use this niacinamide from The Ordinary. I love that stuff. Then I use this moisturizer. Just do like a squirt of it. Oops. And then I just bought this eye cream not too long ago. It's from the Inky List. And I like it a lot. It's really nice. And it's like actually super cooling and feels so good under your eyes. But the only thing is I used it under makeup last night. And I don't think it like meshed very well with my concealer. Um, so I'm going to try it again and see how it goes. But ugh, it feels so good and like depuff. My face gets so puffy in the mornings. I really want to get like a gu sha, gua sha, whatever. I have like the jade rollers, but I feel like the gua sha can like get in there and drain everything. This one can't really, I feel like. And then, and then I just go in with some sunscreen. So my makeup is pretty simple. All I'm going to be using is CC cream. I'll throw on a little bit of bronzer. This is the Nude Sticks one. And I'll put on a little bit of blush. Um, oh. And then I use the e.l.f. Hydro Concealer. And then I'll set it with the powder. And that's it. I keep it very simple. Especially on days that I'm going to lab. I'm going to be wearing a mask all day. It doesn't really matter. A lot of times I'll even just skip these two, but it's the first day back, so I figure, why not? I don't really feel like doing my hair today, so little claw clip bun it is. So this is everything I bring in a lab. Laptop, Apple Watch, book in my book bag, stethoscope, has my scissors and pen light in there, charger, planner. I'm also gonna bring my iPad. I forgot because I had my Apple Watch, or my charger, my pencil charging. I made these, these are the noodles I made yesterday, kombucha and some snacks. And that's all I'm gonna bring. It's 7.30 and we're supposed to leave at 7.45, so I'm wearing my scrubs and I'm just gonna go for a real quick walk. Okay, so I just got back from lab um, a little bit ago and I just ate, but today was crazy. So uh, we started learning how to do IVs and practice on the little like fake arms and stuff. And then by the end of it, uh, we had three volunteers who volunteered to get poked and people did it and actually got the IV started. IVs are literally like the thing that I'm scared of probably like the most in this world. So I was terrified. I was so scared, but I was able to watch people starting the IVs on real people and I did not pass out. So I'm, I'm proud of just that. Um, she said next week we are going to practice again and the people who didn't get to start IVs on real people today would get to next week. So I'm one of the last few to do it. So next week I'm actually going to do it on a real person. That's kind of it for this video. Um, I think I'm just gonna take a shower and then do some studying and some homework. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all next week. Mm -hmm.